the reality of coaching coaching is not counseling see with counseling you know you i don't know so much about counseling so i'm not gonna say you know like oh counseling is this way but most of what i understand counseling to be is you know you're being you're being advised you're being um you know they're listening to you and advising you and you know you can take it you can leave it you can but you know this is this would be nice it's a bit more gentle i suppose yeah yeah, yeah. but coaching is very hardcore you don't come to a coach and be like oh no don't hurt my feelings <laughs> like <laughs> sorry but you know it's like if you really want to do you're gonna have to change coaching requires change it's not going to be like oh i'm meeting my counseling quota because the court ordered me to go for counseling or they'll take my kids. No. When a person comes to a coach, they're saying, I have decided that I want to change. And so I am willing to do. Doing is the component. I'm willing to do. Of course, the coach is not going to force you, but you only get as much as you actually do. Not as much as you listen, right. not as much as you talk, but as much as you as right. much as you do and and that that would be the the thing that changes a person from being a church goer uh to actually becoming uh someone who is doing the word and seeing the impact of the word in their lives I, 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 I,